The Dock Box features the latest innovations in marine equipment with Captain Ted Jones. Let's look inside our Dock Box and see what we have this week. We've got something that is a great breakthrough for treating metal on your boat. If you're worried about some metal you have that's not stainless steel, like down in the engine room, this was developed by Boeing, and it's called Bow Shield T9. I'll set it right over here on the dock box so you can take a look at the three different sizes and methods they have. Now, you apply this down in the engine room, just liberally put it on any uncoated metal surface and leave it there. Don't wipe it off or anything like that. It's guaranteed for six months that it will protect raw metal from rust. Then on top of the deck for fittings outside, it's guaranteed for three months that it will not allow anything to rust that's raw metal. Put it on any kind of metal you want. Down in the engine room, put on the engine itself, through hall fittings, just use your imagination, steering linkage, outside stanchions, anything like that. It's a great breakthrough for boaters developed by Boeing. It's called Bow Shield T9. Take a look right here after one month of outdoor exposure. This is one of the good old products, WD-40. Here's some other brands of products trying to give corrosion protection and rust protection. Look down here at Bow Shield. No corrosion, no rust after one month of outdoor exposure. This stuff works. You want to check it out? Here's their website. Give them a call. One of the neatest things that we've ever had in the dock box. <laughs> We complete our installation now. First, we will mount the side power thrusters motor. We put in the reservoir. We're going to be putting the oil in the reservoir. It's common outdrive motor oil that we use in this reservoir. And as you can see, we're going to try and find a place to mount it above the motor. Now we're going to put the gear drive down into the motor bracket. You can see the oil flowing through the line right there. And finally, we will be installing the motor itself down onto the gear drive inside the boat. By the way, this tunnel and everything is located in the VIP stateroom in the very front of our Trojan motor yacht. With the motor mounted, we now go down into the engine room and mount a battery box because we're going to be needing two batteries. We'll run two 12-volt batteries, wire them in parallel, and you can see we've chosen Trojan batteries because they are marine batteries known for their deep cycle ability, and we need deep cycling batteries to power this bow thruster. We'll hook up the negative lead, which is a pre-run cable that we ran a little earlier, up to the bow thruster area. We're going to mount a fuse holder with an inline 60 amp fuse because the bow thruster motor can pull up to 50 amps. And finally we connect those battery leads to the motor and then finally the cutoff or kill switch. Then back out in the tunnel outside the boat we're putting on the zincs so that we don't have any galvanic reaction or problem with dissimilar metals right there. The zincs are sacrificial. And finally bottom coat over our fiberglass. We'll test the thruster out to make sure it works and remind you this should be performed only by a professional installer. Do not try and cut a hole in your own boat yourself.